segment is for you. This Friday, the newest batch of Disney Channel stars grown in the Disney Genetic Engineering Lab will be unveiled to the public. Right. Now, Tracy, most of our viewers are already familiar with a lot of the products that have come out of the Disney I know Lab. I am. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are already familiar with the products that came out of the Disney Lab. And the lady said, I know I have. Just listen. Yes, but how exactly do you create a Hillary Duff or a Miley Cyrus from scratch right. well we're going to find out exactly how it's done right now because joining us live from the disney lab is uh, one of their lead geneticists dr andrew rourke welcome dr rourke it's quite an operation you've got going on out well, there thanks jim so the stars that we see on tv are actually grown right here uh, that's correct they're they're grown and uh, developed here we engineer their brains for advanced singing and dancing capabilities even posing for photos by the time they grow to desired size uh, these child stars are fully ready for the camera or the, the concert uh, tours or whatever Disney chooses to put them in. That is simply amazing. <laughs> now, how long does it take to actually create a star from scratch? Well, not very long at all. We use the exact same DNA structure for all of our stars. And then we simply tweak minor details like uh, hair color or skin tone. Right, yeah, we do have some footage here of some of the uh, well-known creations that have come out of your lab. Let's take a look. Yes, well, that's model 6831-A, publicly known as Mitchell Musso, standard male base with oh, a type wow. 3 skin pigmentation. Wow. And that's model 6831-B. We give them slightly thicker eyebrows and type 5 skin. Well, so it's yeah. sort of like putting a puzzle together there. Exactly, exactly. Amazing. Okay, here we've got some of the images of some of the newest models. We're going to be seeing a lot of these kids it in the future. It really looks like you have someone for every kid in America right. to love well, here. that's the idea, Tracy. Our writers find it very liberating. Uh, for example, our new model, Haley, is a singing, dancing, snowboarding, half Japanese, half Indian girl. Wow. Now, finding her in reality would be impossible. Right, but sounds like a surefire hit to me. Oh, now, this was Zach Efron. I've seen him before. Yes, uh, Zach was actually one of our earliest models. My daughters love him. I mean, he looks so real. Actually, I think we could have done a better job with Zach. He could show more human tendencies. Uh, if, if you look closely, you'll notice there's a certain deadness around the eyes. I do see that, yeah. yes. I, I'm sorry, it's hard for me to watch because all I see is uh, all my mistakes. Yeah. Oh, he seems flawless to me. Well, he's holding up, but there was a bug in that first batch, and as a result, Zach's skin will soon begin to dissolve. No, poor Zach Efron. All right, well, it's simply amazing. Dr. Rourke, thank you so much for coming in and spending some of your morning with us. I can't wait to see some of these Absolutely. new creations popping out of the lab. <laughs> I can't wait to see some of these new creations popping out of the lab. First of all, that doctor, straight a reptilian. Look at his eyes. He talking about Zach has dead eyes, so does he. But yeah, guys, this is where your Disney stars are made. All genetically created. Here's a patent from Mount Sinai, 1994. There's even an application for it. 